For those of you keeping one eye on the news, maybe you'll have heard about an original tweet that received bids of over a million dollars, or a JPEG file that was sold for over 50 million. But how can a digital file that's available for anyone to view be so highly valued? Welcome to the world of non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, where everything is unique and virtually anything can be bought and sold. Here's how it happened. First, let's discuss the concept of an NFT. A fungible item is anything that can be replaced by another item of identical inherent value. For example, one Bitcoin can be exchanged for any other single Bitcoin. Or two $5 bills could be exchanged for a $10 bill and still carry exactly the same value. Meanwhile, non-fungible means that no exact replacement exists, making the asset unique and not directly replaceable. Like the Mona Lisa, you could take a photo or produce an exact replica, but it would never be the same as holding the original. Until recently, no system has been in place for digital assets to hold this kind of unique value, and there existed no way of verifying their ownership. That was until NFTs came along. NFTs are basically an entry on a blockchain, the virtual ledger technology used by cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin to track every transaction that takes place using a particular currency. The use of a blockchain technology makes every original NFT undeniably authentic, since the system is totally transparent and every transaction is available to view online. Therefore, buyers can be guaranteed that any purchase they make is genuine, since there's a record of its ownership history. Creators can go online and pay a fee to mint an NFT of any digital product they make, and then list it for sale, like on eBay, while higher-end assets may end up at auction houses and sell for millions of dollars, like Twitter founder Jack Dorsey's first tweet, which recently fetched $2.5 million. Plus, creators also have the option of adding a royalty to their NFT when it's minted, giving them a fixed percentage, usually around 10%, of the transaction fee every time the token is sold on in the future future, another attractive feature for creators. Possession of an NFT doesn't necessarily carry any special copyright or reproduction rights, and they should be thought of as more of a digital certificate of ownership than any physical entitlement. So you might be wondering, just why would you want to spend thousands of dollars on a video clip that's already available to watch on YouTube, or a piece of art you could find in seconds with a Google search? Well, like anything, value is dictated by whatever a buyer is willing to pay to become the owner. And although there's no tangible upside to owning the original copy of a piece of music or a PDF document, there's a certain amount of pride in being the sole owner, not to mention the financial investment and possible payoff further down the line. For example, take the very first type of NFT to go viral, the 24 by 24 pixel CryptoPunk. Exactly 10,000 of these digital avatars were produced and distributed for free in 2017, but their value quickly rose into the thousands of dollars, and the going rate for a punk is currently in excess of $1 million, and still rising. The NBA has also capitalised on the virtual tokens, selling NFTs for 10 to 15 second highlight clips of the world's leading basketball players, called Top Shots. The League Association has already sold over $300 million of NFTs, including a total of $50 million of sales in the space of just one week. Each NFT can only have one owner, so there's value in their scarcity and the prestige of being an owner of these lucrative tokens. Luxury auction house Christie's even recently held its first digital-only art auction, with the showcase piece, Beeple's The First 5,000 Days, achieving a record-breaking sale of $69 million in March 2021. These are crazy figures for what's basically a token stored in a digital wallet that you can't touch. Even virtual real estate figures have gone through the roof, with a virtual property on gaming platform Axie Infinity selling for $1.5 million of Ether tokens, the fuel that powers cryptocurrency Ethereum. Unsurprisingly, critics have questioned the value of such assets like an NFT token of a LeBron James dunk that can be viewed by anybody online, but collectors argue this only adds to the value of their investment, as the clip becomes more lucrative and its NFT ultimately becomes more desirable. And as with all cryptocurrencies and blockchain-based technology, the environmental impact of NFTs has also been called into question. The servers used to keep these digital ledgers going burn through thousands 
thousands of kilograms of carbon every day, with Bitcoin's contribution alone producing an annual carbon footprint similar in size to the nation of New Zealand. But the NFT train only looks to be gaining momentum as time goes on, with rumours circulating that the Harry Potter and Star Wars franchises will soon be getting in on the action, their use is likely to become more common going forward. There's been talk that NFTs could one day be used to replace passports, or even suggestions that the entire concept is a speculative bubble that's just waiting to burst. In any case, whether it's a ticket to a Kings of Leon concert or a Logan Paul custom Pokemon card, NFTs are likely to appear in your everyday life sooner than you think. And that's how it happened. Don't forget to comment below with ideas for what you'd like to see in future videos, and thanks for watching.